Hello Flutter developers, welcome back to my channel about Dart and Flutter. In today's vocabulary series, we'll be talking about types of stream. In the last video, we talked about stream when we are working with the asynchronous programming in Dart. So in today's video, we'll be discussing the uh, two types of streams supported by Dart. And here you can go for the refer to the older articles. Uh, part one is about futures and part two about the streams. So the streams, there are two type of streams supported by Dart, a uh, single subscription and the broadcast, which is a multiple subscribers. So th in the single subscription, uh, they are meant for deliver events in the order. So for example, if you are reading a file, that uh, that's a case of this example of single subscription. And once uh, there could only be one subscriber for that. So once it's read, the stream is read, it will throw an exception if you're trying to read it again. Uh, wh whereas for the multiple subscribers or the broadcast stream, there it could be more than one subscriber and as soon as you register or subscribe to the stream, you can start reading it. So that's the difference. So you can convert a single subscription uh, uh, stream into a broadcast stream by using this keyword as broadcast stream method. So now uh, the first thing is subscribing to team uh, to stream. Uh, one the first is using listen method and another is subscription using the subscription handler. So they look very much similar. However, I just want to highlight the difference between two. Um, so as you saw from the older uh, videos, we have this way, uh, we are using generator function to create our, our mimicking the stream for our examples using the async star. And also we are you throwing an exception here, just for example here. Uh, when it uh, meets the fifth element uh, event and so in here when we are using this listen we just simply say stream listen so what we have been doing we were actually using the listen to subscribe to our um, stream now so as you see it will run from number one to four and on the fifth it will throw an exception right here so in if you want to run this code you can run it either dartpad or you can go here and download the code from github and can do in the android studio in uh, to this video i will not be a running code for you because it's uh, it's better for you to go and experiment yourself and i will walk you through uh, about like uh, how to do that and if you have any question please leave the comment and we'll be happy to uh, detail about to give details about that Okay, so in here uh, using a, another is subscription handler. So as you can see, um, apologize about this bad formatting here, the colors, the weird colors. Okay, so in here it's the same stream, the highlighted and here subscribe. So this is the example. So I'm highlighting the code. Um, so in here, as you say, subscription is um, stream dot listen and you see null. So when we do that, that's actually we are creating a subscription handler. This is a sus subscription in this case. And on that handler, we call on data, on error or on, on done. So that's the two different ways to do subscribing to a stream. And you can you get the same results like here. So now I want to introduce the sample stream that we'll be using for this code. You can simply copy paste this code in the dart pad here and we will be running some operations that we can use for single subscription and broadcast uh, subscription uh, streams in in this article so first thing is using where method so in where method is useful if we want to filter um, some data depending on a condition so in here we have a condition which is like greater than three so any event integer which is greater than three uh, filter them and then print them. So that's what it's, this method is doing right here. So this method could be used for filtering a, based on a condition. So as you can see, my this stream has one through five integers and there are the more than three, here are two, four and five and that's, you can see it's printed right here. Now let's check some properties from uh, of stream. Um, and notice the pair method then and listen so as you can see we are using uh, the stream and dot property and then and then the method right here 
Um, so you can see like if we were using the listen here in where and listen and here we are using the property and then. So that's the difference you may want to note. And in here what's happening we are we want to print the first event. So that's why we are using stream.first. So if you want to access the first event you just use stream.first and it's available in the then method and you can take your uh, 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 you can do whatever you needed to do here uh, here simply I'm printing the first event so this is just one same way the last if very similar to the uh, first so I'm just using stream dot last so I just highlighting that line stream dot last then and I'm printing the last event which is five in this case now the next property is useful properties length in length is also similar stream dot length and then X and I'm just printing it length. So length of this stream is five. So now the another example is is empty, which is an interesting one because in here I'm testing it two ways. First is like is a stream of five elements and which is uh, is empty or not. So of course it's not empty. And another stream I'm creating of zero events. So in this case, yes, it's empty. So uh, that's how you can test it uh, if a stream is empty or not and using the property. So these are the basic properties that you use uh, for streams. Now let's see the same properties for the broadcast stream operations. So in here the only thing that you may want to note is here the different thing what we are doing is this. So we are using the same stream as you see but we are converting into a broadcast stream and we are checking it if it's broadcast or a single stream. So there's a property is broadcast that you can use to check that thing. So why it's important this distinction if what so look here in this case we are using the same stream that we created B stream and we are calling all the properties together. However in the last uh, example in here we are creating a new stream for every example. So that's the difference. So for broadcast stream it wouldn't mind if there are more than one uh, if you're accessing the stream more than once but for single streams it will error it out. You can try it you should try it in the dot pad doing uh, trying to do the same thing uh, on two. So here you can see I've created twice this stream. So try to un uh, uh, comment it out and try to do this it will throw an error uh, saying that you cannot consume a already consumed stream. Okay, but here for the broadcast stream, we are doing the same thing, but the main thing was needed to see like we can consume the same stream more than once and pretty much the everything is same in here. And now there are a few thing, extra things that you may want to see in the stream is a take method. So what it does, it actually create a substream of a stream. So what this thing is do, what this take does is it takes two. So in this case, I'm seeing two. So it takes the two first two um, events uh, or make a substream of two events like a first and second and then uh, uh, it, the listens get subscribed to the first and second uh, substring only. So in, as you can see the substring was first and two events and that is just print one and two. Now the another method is a skip. So what it is it's actually skip the first two. So it, it takes the substring after skipping the first two elements. So the last three elements is actually three, four, five. So it prints the three, four, five right here. And now, so here you gave the number exactly like what you want to do. But if you want to add a condition, then you may want to use take while and skip while. So for take while, what it does, you can add in condition, like a logical operation here. Uh, like if my, this is positive, uh, event uh, integer and it's less than three then do take this operation um, only pick those um, events and then listen or subscribe on that substream so in this case the less than three is first and second again and we are printing it so result is same but the way we are accessing it is different uh, this could be a very useful operation and for skip while again we skip based on a condition so we skip for the first two elements in this case and we get a substring of the later three elements which is greater than three uh, uh, which is three four five of course and not greater than three like uh, which is not one and two in this case so three four five and 
uh, we listen to it uh, right here. So we listen to it and we print it on that using a skip while right here 345. And now the one more method and probably is the last one in this article is modifying stream the transform method. So in this case what happens is we can transform our stream events to another type. So in here we had a stream of integers and now we want to convert or uh, transform it into a string. So now as you can see so this is the magic uh, so uh, transformer. So what it uses you have to use a stream transformer for this and this is int is what the kind of you are taking and this is like what the output will be and you create a handler like a value and sync and in the sync you add the transform data type. So in this case is a, int, uh, a string. So it's taking an integer and it's converting into a string. So now how would I use it is like this stream dot transform and then the transformer which is here which is a hand converter actually and it does the, these operations so basically now what I'm getting is a string and now this is a, a this transformed this uh, stream into the one which is actually outputting a string now and subscribing to it with listen so now I'm printing the each element so each element will be printed now this one the new converted value which is a string so it will say my number is this and this and this rather saying simply one two three four five so as you can see here my number is one two three four five and when it's done it says done so it could be useful uh, when you want to convert this uh, the data type of a particular um, event or you want to do it some operations before you feed a stream into the uh, subscribe uh, to, to the other subscriber or, or you want to change the data type for that um, is, yeah so this is where you can use the transform method and this is that's all for this uh, video and about the stream so uh, this is the last art, uh, article in the series of stream and for asynchronous programming with dart and I will see you in the next videos uh, with a new uh, vocabulary word. Till then, thank you.